my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. Today I am making a custom blend soap which I am calling Gummy Bears. I've basically been having a bit of a tidy up in the workshop and I've had all these little bits of fragrances lying around and I poured them all into one bottle and it reminded me of opening up a bag of Gummy Bears. So that is the soap I decided I was going to make with it. So let's go and see how I make it. Okay, so let's get to making this soap. Now you may hear throughout this video some sprinkles of rain up on the roof. It's been raining all morning on and off and every time it does stop I then get all these drops coming onto the roof from off the gum trees that surround my shed. But we will do the best we can. I am pouring my sodium hydroxide distilled water solution into my oils. I'm going to give this a bit of a mix up to emulsion and then I'm going to split it out for some fun bright colours. Okay, so for my first colour here, I have some lemon sherbet. It is a really pretty yellow colour, but it is going to go a rather bright orange murky sort of color and when it saponifies it does come back to that really nice lemon sherbet. I have some raspberry red mica here which is from Heirloom Body Care. We are also using some of their Twilight um, Purple so I'll pour a bit of that one off as well and then into my last jug here I have some blueberry mica which is from my mica obsession so I'm going to get those colors stirred in or mixed in and then I into this big bucket here I have some water dispersible titanium dioxide to make this a white base colors mixed up and now it's time to add the fragrance. Now this is just a mix of all these little odds and ends of fragrance that I have had lying around. There is everything from Dragon Fruit Pop Towel, Viva La Juicy, I think there was some of the, oh there was some of that Endlessly in Love, I think I put in the bit of um, Cactus Flower from Off Brambleberry, all these sort of fruitier sort of soaps that I have been making I always end up with little bits left over my mold holds about 86 grams worth of fragrance oil and most of the bottles you get are about a hundred so I always end up with these little bits of pieces of fragrance oil so I decided to mix all of my light ones together I have this little bug go away I have mixed all these fragrance oils together to come up with my own sort of custom blend. So I stuck to putting all the really um, sweet fruity ones in here. So I have absolutely no idea how this is going to behave. Hopefully it works really, really well. It is smelling really, really good. Um, hopefully we keep a nice fluid batter. I'm going to hand stir all of this fragrance in. You can see that this yellow has gone this really dark orangey yellow. That little bug is annoying me. Hopefully this plays really, really nicely for me. It's smelling so good. Um, smells just like a bag full of gummy bears, which is why I decided that I was going to do a gummy bear soap with this one. Let me continue getting this mixed in and then we are going to start doing a in the pot Clyde slide swirl if this is going to let me. Alright, we've got all of our colours mixed in. Let's get these spatulas out the way and I am going to start by with this what looks like orange but will actually turn back to yellow and I'm going to pour it all in down the side of my bucket just colour after colour. Alright, so all of that colour is in there. It looks like the white has actually set up quite a bit so I'm hoping that we are going to get some nice swirl out of this. 
I am just going to simply start pouring this into my mold. It looks like I'm going to get all that color swirled into the bottom, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I actually do want the top of this to be white. As I've got down to the light, I'm just coming up a little bit to try and get it to swirl through into the bottom there. And then I'm going to very carefully scrape out the white. I don't want it to be too muddy on the top here because I want my little gummy bear embeds to really stand out. going to do to the top of this is I'm going to actually put some sparkle because this is just a nice bright bubbly fragrance and it just deserves a little bit of biodegradable sparkle on there. Alright so these are the little gummy bears that I'm going to put on the top. I also have some little green ones as well but I am just going to simply randomly pop them on the top of this soap here. I also think I'm going to actually take my gloves off because I just find that I then get it all over the place whereas without my gloves I can be a little bit more precise and get them in and I don't actually touch the soap while I'm doing this. So they're going in in all different directions. I'll try and get a nice mix of little colours going here as well. Now I want to say a huge thank you to everyone that left me the beautiful messages on my um, Luck of the Irish Soap. Um, yeah, <laughs> February really was a month. We kind of look back and we do have a little bit of a laugh because that is all that we can really do. Um, but March has definitely proven to be a much better month for us. I have got my website relaunched again. Um, there has been a couple of things that I'm a bit disappointed with. I have had to go with Shopify. Oh, the rain's just started. So I've had to go with Shopify, which I know is a internationally recognized shopping platform, which has its benefits because I know that we're going to get really good SEO off it, which means that Google is going to bring it up in the search pages higher than what my old website was and things like that. The only couple of things I'm a bit disappointed with, I have now lost my loyalty program that I had on the old website. So I can't um, reward my loyal customers with point, points and that sort of thing. I have been looking at the loyalty programs that you can buy or the apps that you can buy to go on them, but they're like $50 a month and that's more than what you actually pay to use Shopify. So um, it ended up just being too costly to be able to put a loyalty program back on there. Now the other thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about is that I have had to take international shipping off of the website because I do have some items which cannot be shipped. So things like the reed diffusers, um, a couple of the liquid ones I don't like sh um, shipping like the um, room sprays just in case they leak in the parcels and also ca um, glass candle jars I don't really like posted them internationally not only are they super heavy so it really pushes the postage up but there there is also a bigger chance that they're actually going to break and one of the things with Shopify is I haven't yet worked out how to tell it that certain items can only be shipped with certain carriers. Once I get that worked out, then I can actually put international um, shipping back onto the website. So if anyone knows how I can do that, please let me know because I'm keen to get it back onto the website as well. But for now, I have actually had to take it off there. But if you are overseas and you are wanting to place an order just message me and I can actually do up an invoice through PayPal for you let you know what the shipping costs are going to be before you even um, commit to the order as well so I'm really really pleased that we have got the website back up and running and it has been going really really well um, thank you to everyone who has actually been ordering on there and I'm um, using that new website it means an awful lot to me that um, it, 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 that you guys are continuing to support me despite everything that happened with that website and yeah other things are also picking up for us this month as well our younger dog she has settled into life now as being the only one 
Okay, we've got another little fly bug here. So she's actually really settled in. Um, she's a bit of a talker. She likes to have a good old chat with you. She, she, you'll be standing there and all of a sudden she just starts this really funny cross between a howling noise and I don't know. It, it's really weird. She just likes to talk to you and she tells you all about things. But for the first couple of weeks after we lost Rolly, um, she wasn't talking to us anymore um, and I was a bit concerned. But this week, oh my goodness, we haven't been able to keep her quiet. She's talked to us several times during the day, tells us all about it. Um, she's back to asking for going for walks and, and things like that. So she's really settled in now, which I'm really, really grateful for. She seems to have, um, I wouldn't say gotten over it because you don't, don't know how animals deal with these things, but she um, she's settling into life and I think she's actually enjoying being the only one where she doesn't have to share her toys or a bed or, or anything else. So I think she's really enjoying being by herself as much as she can um, we won't actually get another dog to go with her as beautiful as she is um, she is an extremely territorial dog and does not share things very well um, she shared with Rolly because Rolly was the older dog she was there first but she certainly doesn't like to share with any other dogs that come into the picture so we, we don't getting another dog is not really an option with her she just I think she likes to be by herself a little bit more. But March is definitely settling in. Um, things are looking up. Things have stopped breaking on us, which is good. I was getting a bit over everything actually breaking on us. We, I did preempt one thing that I said to Hubby the other day. I think this um, soda stream of ours is about to um, go kaput. So I'm going to buy a new one before it does. So we actually bought ourselves a new soda stream. Mind you, the one we had, I think is about 10 years old. So it's done really well. We use it a lot. We actually don't drink a lot of soft drink, but I do like having the soda stream there so we can have, um, soda water, um, cause that's what we tend to drink more of. So that I preempted that breakage. So it's not going to break on me in the middle of trying to make some drinks one day i am absolutely loving how these are coming together most of these soaps will actually get whole um, gummy bears on i don't think we're going to have too many casualties but there will be a couple in here as well because i want to make sure that this soap is completely and utterly full up with these gorgeous little lollies i'm going to keep putting these ones on and then once i've got it completed i'm going to bring you down for a closer look up close I'm gonna leave this one sit here overnight and then come back and show you the cut I am really looking forward to seeing what it looks like on the inside the tops are so super cute it's not gonna be a true Clyde slide pattern on the inside because that white base actually did really thicken up on me so I didn't really get that sort of mix of colors in the pot but it's still gonna be a really interesting um, swirl that we get in the base of this one so we'll be back in just a moment to cut it open he is gummy bears ready to cut that top is so super cute with all those little gummy bears and all that sparkle i'm looking forward to getting this cut open i think we're going to have a very intense color on the bottom and then that layer of white on the top so not quite the clyde slide i was hoping for but because that batter did start to thicken up but still very workable this is going to be the design we get so that is all lined up we are going to have some casualties on our little gummy bears, but some of these bars, in fact all of these bars, will get at least one whole little gummy bear per bar. Alright, we are through that bit of melt and pour going through and then we'll take a look. Alright, let's grab a couple from out the middle here and have a look at what we've got. Oh wow, that is very interesting. I love how that blue and yellow have made all those like spidery looking things coming out the side. I am really, really liking that design. So as I said, it's not quite the Clyde slide that I was after, but it's really, really interesting. And I love how all those colors have come together there. And those little gummy bears on the top, they are just so super cute. 
the whole blend of all these different fragrances, it just smells like you've opened up a bag of gummy bears and stuck your nose in there. It's really, really nice. I can't believe how finely detailed that's looking. It's almost looking like roots of a plant or something growing through. I really, really do like how that's come together. All right, so let's grab a couple from off this end and take a look as well. And that is the inside towards the middle of the bar. So I hope you've enjoyed watching how I've made my gummy bear soap and I hope I've inspired some of you also to use up some of your random pieces of fragrance oil that are sitting around. It's very simple, just combine ones that are of a like fragrance, so any of your fruities together, any of your woody ones together. Just be aware that you will have absolutely no idea how it will behave in your soap when you work with it, but this one really wasn't too bad. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until the next video, I hope you have a great one and I will see you then. Bye.